Welcome to this E2E webcast on a large-scale SOA case study entitled From Mess to Success, a revolutionary approach to SOA and business integration. In this webcast, we are going to hear from Dieter Schlosser, head of IT at DKSH. DKSH is an $8 billion supply chain giant who performs sourcing, sales and distribution for several hundreds of the world leading brands such as Kraft, Novartis, Procter & Gamble, Heinz and Pepsi. I am your host for today. My name is Chris Hen, and I'm in charge of business development and marketing at E2E. The SAP project at DKSH is recognized by leading IT analysts as one of the world's largest global SAP templates and represents one of the fastest SAP rollouts of that magnitude. The acceleration comes from the strategic use of E2E's model-driven integration approach, which is based exclusively on direct model execution without any coding or code generation. In less than 10 months, DKSH has designed and completed over 1,000 integration points into what is currently the largest SAP instance in Asia Pacific and the supply chain sector worldwide, running on the largest IBM on-demand Unix cluster in the region. The productivity increase, which was made possible by direct UML execution, has reduced average business integration from three months to 15 days. This was largely facilitated by using the transparency of the models to improve service governance, leading to 60% reuse and higher. At the same time, the cost of maintenance and change management was reduced by 90%. As with model execution, the documentation is the code, which eliminates the classic people dependency usually associated with poorly documented production systems. I'm sure at this point to most of you this sounds simply too good to be true. And therefore, it is my privilege now to invite Dieter Schlosser from DKSH to share more details regarding this impressive SAP project. Dieter was appointed Vice President of IT in 2005. He was instrumental in using IT to transform business processes within DKSH and to spearhead the company's corporate shared services center to become one of the world's foremost IT reference sites, not only for E2E, but also for SAP and IBM. Dieter looks back at an IT career of 25 years. Prior to joining DKSH, he was the general manager for IT management at Daimler Chrysler, Asia Pacific, Africa and Middle East. Dieter, over to you. Good morning from my side, good afternoon and good evening, depending on what time zone you are. So I'm delighted to give you a little bit more insights of how model-driven integration works in a real environment and how we are using E2E and what difference E2E makes to our business. And in order to identify the problem and to understand what kind of challenges we have, I will give you a, a brief overview about DKSH itself. We are a full-fledged outsourcing provider in several business units. We are considering the entire value chain from a product delivery into any market up to the selling process to an end customer and all value added processes as well means the accounts receivable, accounts payable, etc., etc. We are doing consumer goods, that means fast moving consumer goods, luxury consumer goods, special consumer goods. We are in the healthcare business where we are one of the leading distributors for pharmaceuticals in Asia Pacific. We are doing specialty and raw materials where we do sourcing of chemical ingredients but also food ingredients. We are also in the technology area, for instance, like our optical measurements, uh, Cummins electrical engines, Komatsu uh, construction machineries. And in this field, we are doing also uh, the after sales, the warranty, the training in the field, etc., etc. We have a sales volume of over 8 billion in 2006. We are the largest privately held enterprise in Switzerland. We are comprising of over 22,000 employees worldwide. We are working in um, 38 countries and we are the number one service provider in Asia Pacific. In former days you would have said it's a trading house, but this has gone much beyond the original concept of being a trading house to fulfill really end-to-end -end processes from a manufacturer to a end customer. These are principles which we are serving and I'm sure you know all of them, big multinational companies but also medium-sized enterprises 
where we are doing the outsourcing of the distribution and the supply chain and, uh, and the retailing. Companies like Kraft, where we're delivering the fast-moving consumer goods, Ferrero, Pepsi, Heinz, Cadbury, Lynn, Chocolate, Faber Castell, Whiting, Ricola, Roger de Vee, one of the fastest-growing luxury watch brands in the world, where we have the exclusive franchise for Asia Pacific and where we also own the boutiques. This goes as well for Porsche design. We have a, a huge range of uh, products which we are distributing and delivering, and the products are ranging from toothpaste to a $100,000 watch. Now we are talking about the real challenge for IT within DKSH. We have around 2,000 principals, manufacturer, product owners, where we are distributing and selling their goods into the markets. We have over 70 warehouses, huge warehouses. Our biggest warehouses have 50,000 pallet sizes. We have over 300,000 SKUs, stock items, different SKUs. We are doing over 600,000 invoices in a month. That means not only one line item per invoice, we have hundreds of line items. Millions of transactions go through our processes as well as our IT systems. We have 100,000 reports which we are sending in a month to our principals because they need the information from the market on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. And you can see this is a huge challenge for us to solve this in a very efficient manner. Our sales channels are on the right side. We are delivering to modern trade like uh, Carrefour, Tesco, Chesco, Cold Storage, General Trade. We are delivering to mom and pop stores in the pharmaceutical and the healthcare area. We are delivering to hospitals, to pharmacies, to doctors. We have around 50% market share in Asia Pacific for life-saving drugs. We also do manufacture in a certain areas. We are selling directly to end customers through boutiques, through resellers, wholesalers. So at the end of the day, we have 2,000 principals who are providing us with their product, and we have around 1 million customers on the other side where we are selling our products to. This shows the complexity in what we have to manage. Just to give you an idea what IT means for us, we are currently deploying the biggest single SAP instance in the supply chain industry. It's one of the biggest SAP templates in the world. Our design, we have the second largest SAP BW implementation in the world. We have to deliver around 100,000 reports in a month. Then you understand that we need the best tool to deliver this report in an efficient manner. We can't afford overhead. Plus, we have to invoice based on transactions. So uh, our SAP template, for instance, is benchmark in terms of total cost of ownership. And we are best of breed in terms of uh, costing. We are currently engaging ourselves to reach a certain level on a CMMI, and I will later tell you a little bit more how we are achieving this. We are a member of the Garden CIO Executive Program. IT is core for DKSH, it's key for DKSH, but it's also a, a profit center for DKSH. We have built up a shared service center, and we have managed to get this profitable within the first two years.